If I say that the world is round and someone else says it's flat, that's worth reporting. But you might also want to report on a bunch of scientific evidence that seems to support the notion that the world is round. We're trying to move towards the future. They, they want to be stuck in the past. And we've heard this kind of thinking before. Let me tell you something. If some of these folks were around when Columbus set sail, They, 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 they must have been founding members of, of the Flat Earth Society. They, they would not have believed that the world was round. Much patience for anyone who denies that this challenge is real. We don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. This is a quick follow-up video to my last one. A few of my subs made mention to a clip that I didn't see on CNN's website, where CNN just showed a portion of Hillary Clinton's speech, where she makes a reference to the glass ceiling, of course, a reference to the dome, God's firmament that is above us. This is how these Satanists love to mock, and all these people in this auditorium just cheer and have no idea that she's mocking them. Take a listen. Again, this is how they love to mock. And it may be hard to see tonight, but we are all standing under a glass ceiling right now. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, heaven, and the evening and the morning of the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. Okay, people, my name is Dana. This is my very first YouTube video ever. Um, I've got something here that I don't quite understand, and I'm hoping maybe someone out there can explain it to me. I've been doing a lot of research on um, the flat earth and the firmament. Uh, things like that. This is um, a set of encyclopedias I have. Um, they're Encyclopedia Americana. Um, this is volume two. It's the A's. What we're going to do is look at what it says about Antarctica. Um, these, just remember, this, uh, this is a 1958 edition. Okay, this was before the Antarctic Treaty was signed. Um, this was before the supposed Apollo missions. Um, I want to show you something that it says in here about Antarctica. It basically talks about um, all the exploration. It says here, Antarctic region, regions, excuse me, um, all the exploration. Um, it has a few, few photos, not too many. This is um, the map created back then. I've read all of this. This is the part here that I have the question about. I am trying my best to get some light on here really good. Um, like I said, this is my first video. Don't criticize me too much. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay, I hope you can see this. They did flights, and it says, These flights prove the inland areas to be featureless in character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south, longitude 90 degrees east. Okay, I have no idea what that means. There seems to be only one definition for the word dome. Um, anyway, if uh, anybody has any idea what this means, can explain this to me, I would appreciate it. Okay, thanks.